For instance, this is the disc, and this disc is rotating about its geometrical axis. Correct. And now what we are doing is we are simply placing a block, a small block of mass M at this particular location of the disc. Now we have to comment our answer regarding these four options. It is simply based on this concept. I omega is equal to constant or delta L is equal to zero. So if we employ the same concept here in this question, option one says angular velocity of the disc will decrease. Now students, we know that moment of inertia depends on the mass distribution. Now here you can see that there is an additional mass in the system. So definitely there is a mass that is placed, there is an addition of mass in, into the system. And if there is addition of mass into the system, then definitely moment of inertia will increase. And if moment of inertia is increased and it is an isolated system again, there is no external torque that is acting in the system. Okay. So for, as you can see, slowly what is mentioned here. Okay. So moment of inertia increases, no external torque, angular momentum will be conserved for if moment if moment of inertia is increasing then definitely angular velocity has to decrease so that angular momentum is conserved for the system so option number one is the correct answer now option two angular momentum of system remains constant i just told you definitely it is correct and moment of inertia increases here so this is also correct so the correct choice of answer here will be all of these ones okay now students one more thing for instance this mass was placed at the geometrical center of the disc only okay so if it was placed at the geometrical center of the disc comment regarding the angular velocity of the disc and comment regarding the moment of inertia of the disc what changes would have developed if this mass was placed at the you know uh, geometrical center of the disc so actually here the moment of inertia is not changing. It depends on the mass distribution and the distance of the mass from the axis of rotation. And when you are placing the mass at the axis of rotation only, there is no change in moment of inertia. So this point also you must keep in mind while solving the question like this, correct? 